Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I'm on the Humber Estuary in Cleethorpes to see what Cleethorpes is like in the winter. Now once again I've picked a day where the sky is blue, the sun is out, although it's a little bit chilly. We're going to have a walk down the seafront, check out what's open, what's not. They've got a tiny little maze here, a little castle, a little fun fair on the beach and also a mini pier which is also a restaurant which is a bit confusing because is it a pier or is it a restaurant? It's not actually open though, otherwise I'd go in there to check out their fish and chips. Let's go and do the tour. If you're brand new here, please make sure you give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe and click that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Let's go. And so we're starting here, just literally down from where the leisure centre is in that direction. So we're going to walk down the seafront, have a look on the pier, see what the fun fair looks like um, and also the maze. I love the maze here in uh, Cleethorpes. It's a cold, crisp, sunny day. Uh, current temperature is about four degrees. <laughs> it's very cold. The tide is out at the moment, which is uh, perfect if we want to go down onto the beach, which we'll do in a bit. And also walk under Cleethorpes Pier because Cleethorpes Pier has got so much room underneath it. You can this is pretty cool for a bin. You don't see many bins like that in the shape of a fish. A few people out jogging. So out there today, you can probably see just the very edge of Sperm Point over there and also the wind farm. So on a busy summer's day, the, uh, the lifeboat station and the Coast Guard here, always very busy watching out for uh, lost children and stuff. A lot of dog walkers out today. Perfect weather for it though, for February. So what I love about Cleethorpe's, very similar to Mablethorpe, it's quite a small seaside resort. Um, you've got a little fun fair just in front of us, a few amusements dotted around as well. Jules ice cream parlour is open. I think there's a few people outside having a cup of coffee. A bit too cold for me though to get an ice cream today. It's not bad actually in the sunshine. So we're going to go up to Ross Castle in just a moment. I think since I've been coming here as a kid, the, um, the signage here has not changed. Let me know in the comments. So let's go up the stairs. There's Ross Castle just there. Such a grand entrance and memorial onto the seafront as well. So let's head into the pier gardens. See if the maze is still here. So this was built back in 1883 and was uh, quite a big attraction back in the Victorian era. And you were charged to, uh, to come here in, in the gardens as well. <laughs> you expect to go inside a castle, but what you get is a brilliant bird's eye view of uh, Cleethorpes and across the seafront with the, uh, the pier in the distance. And actually, when you come up here, you get a much better view of the Humber. Just look how big the sands are here. You can probably see Mablethorpe actually in the distance, but these tides do come in quick and uh, you must have your wits about you if you ever go on the beach here. I can see the maze, which you can probably see from the air, looks a little bit more dramatic. Let's go and have a look. It's crazy to think they used to charge admission to come up to the top of the castle. But then you think about that marble arch mound in London, and well, people pay to go up there, so maybe they might charge admission in the future, who knows? So it's a free maze. I do love mazes. I can't remember the last time I went into a maze. Obviously, um, video-wise, it <laughs> 
it will never look that good because you just see bushes and you you get lost but uh, I think I'm doing okay at the moment in fact there's people that have just actually instead of trying to get through the maze properly they've just literally barged their way through so and cut the way through it so it's not really a maze maze anymore oh I'm in the middle already <laughs> well that's a shame that whoever decided to not keep it as a maze and decided to just cut through the bushes because it was easier to get out kind of defies what a maze is by the way one day I want to go into a maze and get lost so if you know where the UK's biggest maze is uh, please let me know in the comments because I want to check it out but uh, as you can see well you can cheat look I'm just <laughs> Someone's just cut a hole through the maze. In fact, I can actually just squeeze through everywhere. But that's not fun. I'm going to try and do it the proper way. I can't get lost. Mind you, the thing about mazes is that um, mazes are a lot more enjoyable when you can't actually see what's in front of you. But because this has got a low hedge, you can kind of see where you're going a little bit. So we're going to leave the easiest maze in the world behind. I'm sure that's where you can talk to someone in the maze rather than a shower. What it actually looks like. The centerpiece of the uh, seafront gardens, you might be able to hear the water is just here with the fountain and the waterfall. Even in the winter, it looks pretty nice. And you see a lot of them on the south coast. Not really too much on the Yorkshire coast, but these um, yucca plants look pretty good. They kind of frame the seafront gardens quite nicely with the, uh, the waterfall just there. So this time of year, a few places open to grab a coffee, some donuts. Love this adventure golf. Like most seaside resorts, the amusements are open. There's no beach balls being sold today, or rock actually. However, there is some uh, takeaway donut action going on. There's a little window open here, I think. What are the donuts? Five for two pound? You want to remember when there were four for a pound. So what is unique about the pier is that you kind of go over a little bridge before you actually get onto the pier and uh, the pier itself is basically a big restaurant Papa's Fish and Chips so as we look over here you can see the uh, the fun fair on the beach which I would have thought they'd have dismantled in the winter but uh, some of it is still up it is quite a high pier as well we'll go and check out underneath the pier although I hope uh, I don't ruin my shoes. I haven't bought the right footwear, to be honest. Now, this actually won Peer of the Year back in 2016. It is such a unique looking peer. Again, I love this restaurant. You get an amazing view of the sea. So obviously just a, uh, a fish and chip shop or a fish and chip shop restaurant. There's not much else on the pier, although there is a, a little ice cream kind of booth there. But that's really it on the pier. There's not much else to see.
So as always, I have to check out underneath the pier, which is what I'm gonna do now. Piers look so barren, don't they? And um, odd when the tides are out and you just see the bare bones, the skeleton of the pier. It is one of my favorite piers in the UK though, because it just looks really cool. I can hear pigeons nesting up there. Hope this is not like a quicksand. I've got sketches on. I don't want them to get ruined. Let me just check. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It is weird hearing pigeons underneath the pier rather than seagulls. I always see this under piers, like especially in Blackpool. There's always like water dripping off the pier. Never know where it comes from or what it is. That water doesn't look clean, to be honest, so um, who knows? I think it's from a leaky pipe. And when you're underneath here, it's actually quite small, but obviously very tall at the same time. So leaving the pier behind and continuing just further up the seafront. Just walk back up on this ramp. You'll notice the fact that there isn't too many fish and chip shops along the seafront here in Cleethorpes. I guess the dominant one is on the pier, but there is lots of ice cream parlors. No amusements there, knocked down. I'm not quite sure what the building there. Obviously, like most places, it looks a little bit run down when the shutters are down. The lights are on, but no one's in. Again, just talking about the uh, how this hasn't changed much. That says McDonald's Ices. <laughs> so retro. I think the paint's been touched up, but some of the signs here, you can tell, are probably from the 80s, maybe even the 70s. So you've got the classic, and then the kind of modern. I don't know which look I prefer. Parking is pretty cheap this time of year as well. It's about a pound for an hour. Fantasy world. You could do with a little bit of TLC at the top there. So what, these lights remind me of a uh, of being in a car park. Now my favourite part of Cleethorpes has got to be this retro building here with the uh, the clock tower and the old well it's still here mermaid fish and chips. It's basically a train station. There's not many train stations you get right on the seafront, but here in Cleethorpes you get off the train and literally the beach is right there. So in the winter they actually do leave quite a lot of this up. There's a kid's little mini roller coaster down there. And a little miniature big wheel. Again, I think this uh, fun fair on the beach has been here since I was a kid as well. I think I've had some photos taken on that by the side of that uh, pink booth. Is the bar open? It might be February. I think they're doing some cleaning, but um, it's 
great to know there's a bar literally just opposite the beach. You're not open, are you? <laughs> I was like, you're not open, are you? No, not open. No. Certainly is a nice day for it. Looks like this part of the seafront is definitely all closed up. There's like nothing open down here at all. So the North Promenade here in Cleethorpes is a little bit of a mix really. You've got a, uh, a pub there which um, doesn't really look like a pub, does it? Um, you've got some industrial units and then you've got a Sunday indoor market just up here. I have to say they're very inventive with their bins. Struggling to understand what this is. Little seats, little play area, I don't know. I think they're actually, I think they're kind of like, um, that's like a sunbed and I think there's a, a rather big sunbed there <laughs> and a random workout bit the indoor market I don't know if this is still actually open during the season let me know in the comments if you've seen this open recently I don't think so there's flowers growing at the top there I think once upon a time this used to be uh, some amusements So we've just walked to the very end of the seafront here. You can see Grimsby Hull in the distance and looking back towards the pier. And it's a shame the sun's gone in actually because uh, normally this is probably the best bit of beach here in Cleethorpes. But there's uh, quite a lot of pebbles here but I've seen this in the summer look really lovely in the past. However, it doesn't look as nice as you cross over the other side. If you like the video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, click the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video and I'll see you next time.